catheter introduction into the left side of the nasal cavity. It is performed with the patient in a sitting position. The catheter body was pre-bent so that the length of the introduced part of the catheter corresponds to the distance between the nasal vestibule and the coena. Balloon inflation. Inflated balloons, one in the nasal vestibule and the other in the coena, seal and isolate the sinonasal cavity from the outer environment. They also restrict the contact area between the drug and the mucous membranes of the nose and paranasal sinuses. Sealing is mandatory for the yamic procedure. In order to provide good visibility of nose wing movement for the physician, the patient's head should be tilted during seal check. When the syringe plunger is pulled, the nose wing should be drawn in and returned to the initial position synchronous to the plunger movement. For injection of the drug into the sinuses, the patient should be placed in the lateral recumbent position on the same side as the sinuses to be injected. In this position, the drug will fill the sinuses due to a balance of gravity and surface tension. A 20 milliliter syringe filled with 10 milligrams of the drug solution should be attached to the working channel of the catheter. The physician begins to move the plunger at a 1 to 2 milliliter amplitude. This is quite sufficient for the solution to start passing from the syringe into the sinuses. Such a small pressure change guarantees a painless procedure. The physician performed 90 back and forth movements of the plunger. As a result, 10 milliliters of the antibiotic solution were injected into the sinuses in just 50 seconds. There is no nasal discharge after catheter removal. It means the entire drug stays in the sinuses. During injection, there were no signs of the drug getting into the patient's pharynx. This is indicative of the fact that the solution did not proliferate beyond the area restricted by the inflated balloons during procedure. The patient should be placed in a sitting position face down. A slight exhalation through the nose causes secretion to appear from the sinuses only at that side of the nose where the drug solution was injected. It means that the draining function of the left nasal ostium has been already partially restored in the course of the procedure. It can be explained by the fact that the viscosity of the abnormal content in the sinuses has begun to decrease after contacting the saline injected into the sinuses.
Молодец. Немножко ниже голову пустая. Вот так вот, чуть-чуть. It took the physician only 70 movements of the plunger to inject 10 milliliters of the drug in the one side of the nose. Now, secretion is released from both sides of the nose, while more secretion is released from the right side. It indicates that the draining function of the osseums has been restored even more.